Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is Tom Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle14. And I'm here doing a review of Basketball Wives Season 7, Episode 14. I just want to know when the season going to be over. It is dragging, and I'm getting tired of it now. I'm just trying to stick with this as much as I can with the review. But I'm telling you that now, this is going to be my last season. <laughs> And my only season I'm going to be reviewing Basketball Wives. I can't do it anymore. I just want to watch it and that's it. Reviewing this thing and it's crazy. It's getting, my, it's getting me nerve. It getting on my nerves. So I'm just going to stick it out for the rest of the season. And then that's it. Any more season from Basketball Wives, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to watch it. It's not going to add to my list. Alright. I don't even know I'm going to do C by C. I'm just going to talk about what random things that came about to me about this episode. And just move on for that. Alright, so OG, right? So we know that OG was talking to Kwame and we know a couple of times she always asks Kwame when we go, what our future is, what our future going to be, do you see marriage, do I want to kids, everything. And every time he um, they talk, he always say, he don't really say the answer, he just said future, um, I got to work on myself, I'm not ready yet, this is not, but he never give a direct answer or like, no, I don't want this. Or yes, this is happening. And he just always give a roundabout answer or don't say anything. So it's kind of like getting her nerves. OG is like keep pushing the issue. With, uh, pushing the issue. It's like if he's not on the same page, I gotta move on. But he's not in the same page. So, but you don't want to see it. You still keep harboring and asking him. It's like, what's going to change? Nothing going to change. It's like he exactly don't want to. He don't want to move forward with that. So. She somehow she said she gave him an ultimatum. So I said, I guess. I said, giving somebody an ultimatum is not gonna help your answer either, girl. You give him the ultimatum, they go they go build that one foot outside the door. You give him the ultimatum. Don't give no man an ultimatum of marrying you, cause they gonna say, you know what? What really? They gonna be they go checked out of you right there and there. But we see what it is. So we Kwame's in the house putting rose petals in the ground. Everything, put champagne. OG came came inside the house. She saw everything, and she walking up the stairs, and she happened to see Kwame. Kwame was there. I guess he came back from overseas, and he said he wanted to have a nice night. Well, he said, I know we're going back and forth. We're going to this crazy things a long time for a long time. I appreciate you, and I didn't want to take this to the next level. So I said, Oh, okay. What is it? He said the next level is he want to move in with her. So I was like, um, I said, that's cute. I mean, granted, moving in with somebody before you get married is ideal because you need to start living together and see how it is and all that stuff. And that's going to be your future. If marriage is your future long one. But at the same time, this does not solidify a foundation that he still want to get married with you or OG or he want to build a future with you. It just only means seeing that he have you in the same roof as him. He can monitor you or you can monitor him a little bit and he can still do what he got to do because he's still traveling. So moving in together is not going to change the fact of how he feels about the future. He just says the next big step. She said a man moving in with a woman is a big step and everything. I mean, it can be is a big step moving in together with your spouse and significant other and taking that extra step. And then at least into commitment of engagement, having kids and marriage. But I still feel like he not going to marry her yet because, I don't know, maybe it, it we'll get to that point. But he said he would move in with her. I don't know. It just sometimes it doesn't change the situation. But if that's what she happy about. She content with that answer right now. She says no diamond on my finger. But I know he's thinking about it and he's taking it serious and he's initiate moving in together. Which is cute. I mean, he, he said he would move in with her. I said, okay, that's good. Now, moving in. Are you going to move into her place? Or y'all get a place together? When is, what's going to be the moving in process? That's all I have to say with that. So, OG, she's happy. She content. So, I guess we will see how that holds. But I still don't believe that he still really want to build a future future like that with you. He just want to say enough to get you all happy so you won't focus on too much about the marriage. So he did this one gesture for you to say, all right, you cool now. And he's oh, he's serious. But not at the same time, he's really not that serious. If you understand what I'm saying. Now, we get this whole little preparations. Everybody trying to get ready for Amsterdam. 
Jackie Malaysia was talking in the beginning and saying about how they're happy that Jen is not going to be there. Well, Jackie was like, it sucks that Jen not coming and all that stuff. But Malaysia said, cool, I don't want her there anyway. So they had a little talking. Um, we know that CC and Krista are still not talking right now. They haven't met up, met up with each other to even hash out the differences before they go to the Amsterdam trip. So they kind of like separated right now. Jackie went to Tammy to see about Tammy and ask her if she's still going to go to this trip. Tammy said she's not going to go. She said she need to focus on family. She need to make sure Reggie's okay because that's when she broke the news to Jackie that she, her and Reggie is not going to get engaged anymore. And she said, what, really? And she was like, she's shocked because she wanted Reggie to propose because he's been like hunting for a ring and trying to get this for a long time. And Jackie said, it's not the right time for us right now. We cool, we good. And I just break this ice to my daughter, tell them, to my daughters and let them know that it's not going to happen. And I know that he loves me and and my reaction. And then his reaction said he was cool. It was something different than I thought it was going to be. But we were good. And she didn't want to mess that up. So later on when she went to her daughters, this is Tammy. Tammy went to her daughter and she, spoke, she told them that. Her and Reggie not going to get married. They said, what? And they were spitting some truth. They was like, really, Ma? It's like, come on. Like, what happened? And then this is what um, Tammy said. That when her, Kenny, your father, was good, they had a happy relationship. They was beautiful. Once they got engaged and got married and they had started having kids, this stuff has changed. I mean, stuff does change the relationship when you build years with the person, with the person. Years with the person, getting married, having kids, stuff does change. It's not going to be the same how y'all was to two single people dating, having a good time relationship, and building with each other. So stuff has changed. And now, with that being said, she said she don't want that to happen with Reggie and saying that we are good for now. And then when we get this engagement, things will be changing. So basically projecting her past life into a recent relationship and why she don't want to move on to marriage it's like that but she said sometimes you you had that baggage that you've been doing your own past relationships and then you bring it to this one and say oh i have been going through this and this, so i don't want this happen again granted yes people have baggages for their past relationships the stuff that they learn and stuff that um they don't want to continue or repeat in their current relationships but sometimes when you so much focus on the past and trying to so much trying to micromanage everything in your future relationship it will hurt your relationship now so i encourage you not to keep focus on the past and build the person in the future you know reggie loves you you know he's a good guy he show you every other way that this is different it's good so why not get that proposal but they good for now until it gets to that point where she's ready to get a married get mad um get married with him but right now, I don't know that she ever want to get married. She just kept going to use that excuse as excuse of, I'm not ready yet. Stuff going to get different. Stuff going to get changed. And like she's like so scarred for Kenny. I said, Reggie's not Kenny. So you can't always compare your current relationship with your ex. Because they going to feel the type of way that, okay, every move I'm making is something, is somewhere connected to your feelings towards your ex-husband. Which is not good. So it's not fair. And the daughters were saying that, you know what? It's not fair. He want kids, he can't have kids. And then you don't want any kids. He want to get married with you or like that, build a future. You're not going to give that to him. So then you say you got to give him something. You can't have him always trumping his dreams. Trampling his dreams of stuff that he wants. But he not getting fulfilled. But he still loves you. So he's not going anywhere. So I was like, somehow, Tam, you have to fold somewhere. You can't always have it your way. I said, I hope that relationship between Tammy and Reggie is stay strong. I could tell he loves his girl. She loves him. And I just hope things come from the better. I mean, don't want to break up. I think they were a good couple. I think he balanced her. She's cool. She mellow. She calmed down a little bit after she got with her. So Reggie just looked like it's a good fit for her. So hopefully that things work out. And then hopefully in the future, we get engagement announcements and wedding bells for the future i said oh great finally tammy right 
All right, so we get CC and then we get Jackie and we get OG going to a spa day because Jackie says she always wanted to have some rituals and one of her rituals is she likes to get a spa treatment and pamper herself before she go to a trip. So they went there and they had a little talk. Now CC said she her problem is with Jen. First she said her and Kristen hasn't talked yet and haven't hashed things out. So it's going to be awkward seeing her on a trip because we haven't really talked yet lately. Now. But she said she doesn't have a problem with Evelyn. Her problem is with Jen. But she knows that Jen and Evelyn are cool. So Evelyn will have a problem with her for some reason. And I was like, yeah, Evelyn will have a problem. Because Evelyn somehow got word, word that you, she not working. And she has a name. She, um, Kristen always, CC always talking about her and everything. I said, where is she getting all this information from? If she was never around, who is telling her all this stuff? And I can tell you one person, Kristen, that evil bitch, Kristen. It's like, come on now. So, they got, they're all in the trip. They went to Amsterdam. They flowed in. They went in the bus. Right off the bat, Evelyn, Kristen, and Shawnee was in the back of the truck and said, Oh, CC ain't say hi. She'll never say hi to you and everything. And she has a problem, and I want to know what's her problem with me because I never talk about her. And she always had my name in her mouth, and it was like clowning Cece, clowning. Krista was just right there, soaking everything up. Shawnee's there too. I was like, oh. Shawnee don't like everything. She always want to be messy, but then when it comes to her, she don't want to. She want to back out and say don't want to say it's not affecting her. It's like you always send some some drama. You don't shut things down. But yet you have an opinion after things being done. It's like, stop that. It's like, come on now. So, apparently the three don't really care for Cece that much. And Cece was in the front with Jackie and the OG in Malaysia. And they was all cool. They had no problem. So, freaking, they was at the hotel room. It was nice. They had a lot of food, champagne and everything there. It was cool. CC was sitting right there. Evelyn has a problem. She said, oh, the hey, this girl, girl, she didn't say hi. She didn't say nothing. She stayed to herself. She stayed in the office. She, like, she got a mingle mug in her face. It's like, nobody can say nothing to you because you got an attitude. I said, Evelyn, let it go. Why is she bothering you? It's like, you say you don't talk about this girl, but every little scene you had in this episode, it was about CC. CC in your mouth. CC in your mouth. CC in your mouth. And CC is not even been thinking about you. Haven't said your name once. And it's, well, she did say about, oh, well, Evelyn has a problem with me. But she never s s dissed you. Like, yes, she said the Trudy D, Trudy Dumb comment when Jennifer was there. But y'all bitches call her dumb, man. It's funny. I said, where you get your nursing degree? Are oh, you dumb? I can't believe what you get it from. Oh, did you go to school? And it's like, can you copy hand? Y'all basically call this girl dumb in her face. But y'all have a problem when she's called y'all Trudy D and Trudy Dumb. Shut your asses up. Y'all do believe. Y'all, y'all, our names deserve y'all. Y'all deserve that names. Y'all deserve it. And I will say it. I will call your names that too. Fuck out of here. You don't call me dumb and expect me to be okay and uh, kiss your ass. And I'm not going to do that. So, they was on that. So, Shawty told them we were going to have a trip, no, a dinner tonight. And then after that, we're going to do something else the next day. So, here go to dinner. Like... They would talk about weed smoking and they had that talk. OG said she don't like smoking weed, but her boyfriend does. And they would say they would try it. Jackie said, I can't smoke weed because I get um, goofy and crazy out of the place. Jackie always been crazy, so, but hey, I mean, weed make you more of mellow sometimes. I guess she said she liked that. She would be that crazy, mellow type, kooky type person. And they all had a talk and about weed and trying it and she would research. Shawnee was on her research, right? So out of, the out of something, Evelyn said, well, Cece, why you didn't say Shawnee? Why you don't say hi to Shawnee? And Cece said, what? Where is this coming from? I said, first of all, yeah, where that came from? It's like, you just straight up the bat want to be the bitch. You straight up the bat want to be the evil person. And first of all, why are you so concerned about Cece not saying hi to Shawnee that Shawnee be concerned for herself? Shawnee has a mouth. She will say to herself if she has a problem with Cece not saying to her, say hi to her. And she said, 
what are you talking about? It's like, I could have sworn I did say hi to her and stuff like that. She said, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. She said, I was standing right here next to her. And I would say hi. But Shardy said, it's like, every time we talk, every time you're around, you don't say nothing to me. So I have offended, like, you don't say nothing. So, um, but I'm not actually to kiss my ass. It's just like, it's like, every time we come around, you don't really, um, Interact with me to, to me. So she said, if I have offended you about not interacting or saying anything to you, I apologize. And that's good. And then uh, Evelyn came about. She said, oh, well, I heard you had something about me not working on something like that and something like that. And she said, what? And I would say, what too? Because I said, Cece said, nothing about none of y'all not working. What she said outside is that, let me go to y'all place of business. Let me go to y'all work and see what y'all do. Because y'all come, come after me saying I'm giving happy endings. Let me see what y'all do in y'all work if y'all will talk concerned about me. That's what she said. She didn't ever say y'all never had any jobs. So Shawnee said, oh, if CC worried about, oh, we just staying out back. And I said, who cares? I said, nobody. Now, that's not what she said. And now Kristen came about and told her, because Cecil said, how the hell are they saying all this? It's like, we had a private conversation with Cece, the only, Kristen, and the only way she would get all this information if Kristen went to tell them, which Kristen did. Because Kristen said, oh, well, we had that private conversation outside, and you said something like this, basically saying, y'all know bitches don't work on that. I said, that's not what she said, and that's not what you concluded. Why are you concluded that? You trying to be messy, bitch. Oh, my God. I wish Cece would have slap or knee punch her in the face or something. Because I said, Kristen, you being messy. I said, first of all, that's what she just said. And she said, oh, well, you need to open up to it. And she got offended by it. Just apologize or don't apologize. But I said, first of all, stop telling these people they need to own up to things or apologize or stuff like that. And she don't need to apologize. She don't have to apologize. And maybe, yeah, that's what she said. Own up to it if you apologize or you don't apologize. But be truthful with what you said. But she would be true if she said that. She never said they don't work. She never said that. All she said, let me go to your place of business and see what y'all do because y'all coming at the mine. Let me go to y'all and see what y'all do. That's what she said. And so, Crystal was being messy. and But Cece would hold her own. I like that Cece hold her own. She was not backing down because Evelyn came out and said, keep your man out your mouth. And said, I heard you got a nickname for me. And she said, oh, it's not a nickname. A new nickname. It's old. She said, what is it? Trini D. Trina Dummer. And... I would say, oh, that Evelyn got pushed away. She said, keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. And Cece said, you be evil. Evelyn. And then she said, this is, my first, this is not the first time anybody called me Evelyn. Oh, how uh, original. I said, so that's not the first time. That must be true then. So why it took you upon yourself to call her Lily? And so I was like, who is Lily? And I was like, Lily, that's not her name. And Malaysia said, a nail technician. I said, oh, so you be a racist, bitch. So you call her Lily because you had nothing else to say about her. So you call her Lily. So she said, you being racist? They said, oh, this. And Shawnee said, oh, you don't do that. I said, why? You was all here for Evelyn ass, but now she can't say Lily. I would say, first of all, she shouldn't be saying that Lily in the first place. She only called you evil. How you get from Lily from that evil conversation? You could have called her, well, you're not smart. Or you could have called her dumb again or something like that. But Lily? So that's a racial comment. Um, racial comment. So now you um, you making something based about her ethnic, um, her origin background? Like, come on, her nationality. So I was like, oh my god, ethnicity. Oh my god, ooh, ethnic background, basically. And I was like, wow. And then I saw this Twitter and everything, Instagram, that all uh, videos that people saying that she apologized for making that comment. I said, oh. Out of all this time, people saying, oh, stand up to your truth, own up, and mean what you say. Now you backpedaling a bitch. You've made a comment, and now you backpedaling saying that, oh, you apologize, and you didn't meant to offend anyone, all that stuff. You only do that because you was getting backlash from people from Twitter and Instagram saying that that was not right for you to say that. Which it wasn't right for you to say that, call her Lily. It's like, come on, bitch. It's like, come on. Like, she didn't really say nothing to you. You have a hard on for this girl from what? And every scene you had, you had your name in mind. She said, you don't talk about her. But you was talking about her all the time. On the confessionals. To Shawnee, everything. It's like you were so obsessed by Cece. But you don't talk about her. So if you don't care about her. You don't deal with her. Why the hell are you talking? It's like you should just like, know what? She doesn't exist to me. Act like she's not there. Some, somehow she's bothering you. And she gets to your skin. And that's what Jack and them said. She said somehow it takes... 
a while for Evelyn to get to that point and you pushed her there. So it's just now that she knows that you're not backing down. So she sees that and you took her there to her to call your race a comment. It's like, come on now. So that's not right. So, but she apologized and everything. But I said, miss with apology because you always do a shit to people and you expect the people to, uh, not to say nothing to you. You expect the people to bow down to you like you are evil, like you're a person, like a prima donna. Nobody can't say nothing bad to you, but you could call this girl names, call her dumb, say she get happy endings. And you know how, and you never hardly gave her a chance. Fuck out of here, Evelyn. So you can keep that apology and I hope CC don't accept that apology either because that was bullshit. You only did that because you was getting, social media was racking your ass about that comment. I'm gonna have, oh uh, well, the last thing I would say, Evelyn tried again to convince, convince Jen to come. Jen said she gonna come. So she both the news to Shawnee, told Shawnee that I invited Jen. And Shawnee was not having it. She said, if you brought your friend over here to tell her that I don't give a fuck about telling her and we can have a conversation then, then you set your old friend up. I'm not gonna talk to her and I'm not gonna hear, sit there and talk to her about some things. And Evelyn said, I want her to have one woman with you and one woman with Malaysia without Tammy being there. And once again, blaming Tammy and Tammy is not there. Like, you always got Tammy in your mouth, bitch. Tammy saying nothing about you in this episode, whatever. You always saying, oh, Tammy convinced her not to say nothing to Jen. I said, Tammy convinced nobody to say anything. Shawnee made her decision herself. Shawnee has her own person. She has her own mind, her own voice. She made that decision. It's not Tammy. It's like Tammy's not even a trip and you still bothered about the girl. I said, well, it's what it is. Jenny, you set yourself up. I wouldn't even come to the trip. I said, fuck it, I'm not coming. I'm not, I don't want to explain, to my, explain myself to these girls. Huh, that's it. Hope y'all like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I can't wait till next week and see. It seems like it'll be more explosive between Cece and Kristen and Kristen finally explain more, some of her deep issues, what she had with Cece. I can't wait for next week about that and see how everything goes. Talk to y'all later. Peace.